So this is a video I didn't plan on making. As if you've come over from Joel's channel, you will of course have seen his video where he discussed that there's a problem with the car. And uh, you know, for, first of all, I just want to say thanks to everyone who has been patient in uh, finding out what the fault was. Um, kind of, I hope you understand that I wanted to kind of release and announce it myself. Um, in simple terms, the drive shaft bearing is gone so whenever i accelerate say from 30 to 45 miles an hour the drive shaft vibrates quite out of control i suppose uh, and it seems to swing around and hit the tunnel of the car which from inside the cabin uh, makes a knocking noise um it's okay at, sh uh, at kind of um slow speeds so around 20 mile miles an hour it's fine uh, it's just what, what's tricky about it is uh, accelerating onto a motorway. Once you kind of hit the 40 odd mile an hour, it's going do 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 do. And um, yeah, to obviously stop that, you, you uh, kind of have to let off the throttle and it will stop and then very gently touch it and it will sometimes do it again. Um, the car is drivable and um, Joel has, as he has work commitments on Monday, Rather than risk it, he has booked a flight home uh, tomorrow on Sunday. Uh, I was going to try and get the car fixed. However, I had the car checked out at BMW in Italy, um, who didn't have the part. Uh, BMW Monaco didn't have the part. Not a single BMW in Italy or France could get their hands on this part, basically. Apparently, it is a specialised part uh, direct from Germany, which takes around seven days to deliver. Then once the part would be delivered into, say, Monaco, it would, I would then need to uh, get the car in. I need to book an appointment and get it fitted, which again, someone told me they, couldn't, they didn't have any availability till the 23rd of April, which just didn't work. So I have pretty much no choice but to try and nurse the car home um, and just hope and pray that it doesn't break or rather cause more damage to other components. So that is obviously very, very, very risky, but I don't really have a choice, if I'm honest. Um, obviously the expense of staying here in Monaco is ridiculous. Uh, I have only got five or so days left of annual leave, so that would completely go. So the plan tomorrow, uh, being Sunday, is to leave Monaco at around 10 in the morning and uh, cover around eight hours of uh, driving to a halfway place, probably Dijon, I'm guessing. I, I need to actually book some hotels and things. Um, so do eight hours driving on Sunday, then continue the remaining eight hours home on Monday. So kind of as planned, this is the same kind of time scale. But yes, I'd like to thank everyone for their kind of uh, sympathetic messages and uh, thank you for being so patient of me uploading this video. Um, that's pretty much it. So hopefully it doesn't break. Uh, yes, I do have breakdown cover as well. I'm sure people will ask that. Uh, but I rang them the other day and they need to inspect the car themselves and then they need to then arrange for it, the car to be transported. So that again, is just it's not a quick process. It is going to take a long, long time. So again, fingers crossed it doesn't break. I hope it doesn't break. I'm feeling semi-confident. Once it is up to motorway speed, so say 70 odd mile an hour, 70, 80 mile an hour, it is fine. It's almost like it kind of balances itself out. There's no more knocking. It is just the 40 odd mile an hour kind of increase once you're at that speed is the issue. But yes, so not great news, obviously it has ruined our plan slightly um, and I haven't been able to push the car to its full potential which is, uh, you know, I'm quite gutted about really. But yeah, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. That's it.